Well, hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you seven tips on how you can organize your sewing space. Come check it out. Throughout this video, I'm going to be sharing with you seven techniques on how you can declutter your sewing space and also how you can keep an organizational system for your sewing space as well. So number one, tip number one, if you do not already have one, I highly suggest that you invest in what is called a Halifax storage drawer these drawers are amazing now i just recently purchased this drawer myself and so i am about a month into using this drawer but i'm telling you this is such a wonderful purchase i think they come in four five six and eight i think you can even get a seven drawer um halifax as well you can find uh these on amazon uh, wayfair.com has them uh, ikea has them you can even get it from walmart if you have the space in your sewing room or your sewing space i would highly recommend getting a folding table as well this is the table that i do all my cutting i also trace my pdf patterns and i also uh, assemble garments together and all that stuff on my folding table it is just such a wonderful buy i purchased this from home depot and i believe it was uh right in the neighborhood of 40 dollars. it wasn't that expensive it is a heavy duty plastic and um, as i said it it is a folding table but it's also adjustable it's four by six it's just perfect for this room i can actually put it on the wall as you can see over here or i put it in the center of the room because i have space to be able to put it in the center of the room the third thing that i recommend that you purchase is this rolling cart now these rolling carts can be purchased pretty much anywhere from joanne fabrics uh, Michaels. You can also get them from uh, Amazon, Wayfair, Walmart.com. Uh, they are everywhere. Uh, on the very bottom of my rolling cart, I have all my spools of threads. On the middle row of the cart, I have all of my uh, sewing kit uh, items like my uh, tools and things like that that comes with my sewing machines and my sergers. And uh, I have some small spools of threads as well. Um, I have my wonder clips and things like that that are all contained in a box. It is just all so nice and so neatly uh, put inside this, this little space. For your PDF and commercial patterns, I would recommend going with some kind of uh, file cabinets or storage bins of some sort. Mainly I have uh, a file uh, two file cabinets and i have some storage bins as well these have been uh really working really well and i really do recommend like the little pop-up uh bins that you can get off of uh, walmart or amazon they are really helpful and then also if you invest in getting some uh, little cubes or cu uh, cubicles you can also put those little uh, storage bins inside of the cubicles and uh, that also will be a really nice organizational system and it will help to keep down on the clutter as well and then also it looks visually pleasing especially if you uh, dice up the room with some color I would also so recommend either buying or making yourself some fabric storage boards. Now I made my own out of presentation board that I purchased from the Dollar Tree here in the United States. And it's really easy to do. All you have to do is cut yourself out a uh, six by 10 piece of cardboard and uh, basically wrap your fabric on that six by 10 cardboard uh, piece that you cut out. So as you can see here, I'll pop the image here. It's uh, just a really small piece of cardboard and you're just going to go ahead and uh, either double or triple your fabric. It just depends on how wide your fabric is. And then you just go ahead and wrap 
your fabric around that board. It's that simple and that easy. It's not that hard to do. If you want to, you can even put clips on the end, like a little hair clips, buy yourself some hair clips and keep the fabric in place. Or you could put uh, little pins in it so that you can keep the fabric in place. I chose not to do any of that uh, since I was actually putting them inside of my cabinet here and they are really snug against one another so i'm not really worried about um, them falling off the board or anything like that but it's a really nice way to keep your fabrics organized and uh, clean yeah. next i would tell you to invest in a pegboard system pegboard systems are phenomenal because you can put all of your uh, tools and things like that that you're working with on the day to day um, that can be right within eye reach right there you can put it right there in front of you and they are really uh, nice and cutting down on the clutter as well invest in two if you have to i have two i have one on this wall here behind me you can see above me um, i have my scissors up there as well as a few pins and a, a couple of snaps and things like that and i also have safety pins up there i also keep my little clothing labels inside of the little bins that you see hanging off of the pegboard system and then i have a second board across the room at my second station and that board that pegboard uh, wall is a little bit bigger so it has uh, double the amount of pegboards that you see here and on that wall I have more pens I have my rulers and you know all kinds of measuring tools my rotary cutter my button gauge uh, just all kinds of things uh, to make sure that I can keep down on the clutter lastly for so your fabrics I would say get some kind of a, cu a cubicle or some kind of a cabinet or a hutch or um, have some kind of an organizational system for your fabrics whether it be a dresser drawer or anything like that um, I find that actually folding your fabrics and putting them inside of a cubicle or inside of a hutch or on hangers inside of a closet or anything like that is going to help to cut down on that clutter instead of actually folding your nice fabrics up and then piling them up on a bin and I did that I did that for quite some time and then as I started to buy more and more fabric I would see my pile getting higher and higher and higher and so if you could have like a, a nice organizational system for your fabrics where you have your cubicles or your hutch or your drawers or things like that I think it'll help to cut cut down on the clutter and then also give yourself um, a designated time to complete certain projects before you go out and purchase more fabrics. Lastly, I would encourage you to go over on the website clutterbug.me and take the clutterbug quiz. And basically this is a quiz that will help you figure out what kind of organizing uh, style that you like. And it might sound silly at first when you're taking it, but it it really is helpful in helping you to identify uh, what things, what kind of organizational uh, things that you like, like what kind of organization you like in order for you to be able to um, uh, develop that type of organizational system for your space and for your room. So that way you can cut down on the clutter or you can uh, create that space that um, might be um to your personality that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure that you give me a big thumbs up because it really helps me out if you are new to the channel thank you for tuning in today if you haven't done so already please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can receive notifications of all my videos when i post them 